Hey, what's up everybody? It's Neo here with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to get the Galaxy S5's toolbox feature on any Android device. So it's quite simple in that you only need one application called Toolbox Floating Window App. It's available for free on the Google Play Store. Now what separates this from similar applications on the Play Store is that this one comes with customization tools and it allows for unlimited apps so you can essentially place every app you have in the toolbox. Once you've installed the application go ahead and open it up. The first thing you want to do is enable toolbox then decide if you want it to start on boot so every time you restart your device or it turns off and on do you want it to automatically start with your device. Um, let's just go ahead and say yes. Then just select your applications. So like I said, you can place all your apps in there. Um, although if you place too many, I think it's about, I'm not sure how many over, you'll eventually have to start scrolling in the toolbox. So I just like to place the essentials. Um, after you've selected them, just go back and they'll all be in there already after you check them. Then go ahead and try some customization tools. You can uh, resize it accordingly depending on the size of your device. I have a Nexus 7 right here so I want it to be as big as it can but let's say you have a smaller screen you want you might want it to be a little bit smaller and less obtrusive on your screen. So I'm going to do that then I'm going to change the color by default it's transparent which is cool but let's give it some style and make it a different color so I'm just going to use this wheel I can change how dark it is, I can make it a little more saturated, whatever you want, and then just hit change color and it'll apply it right away. Using the toolbox is simple itself. When you're not interacting with it, it kind of uh, fades and is less noticeable. You can just tap on it to expand it. And like I said, if you have a bunch of applications, you'll have to scroll through them, but I don't have that many, so they just display conveniently like that. The floating icon or activation icon can be moved around any part of your screen, whatever you think is best for you. I like it to the side. And also when you open it, you can actually rearrange the applications themselves by tapping and holding and just moving them around. And it's that simple. Let's say I want Chrome to be the last one. Let's close it, reopen it. And there Chrome is now at the bottom. So definitely try it out. Um, if this is something that you admired or you wanted, after seeing someone with an S5, you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to wait for Samsung to release this on the Play Store. They probably may never do this, but you can get it now. So definitely try it out. Check out the full guide over at GadgetHacks.com. Also, don't forget to like, comment, and definitely hit that subscribe button if you want to get some more awesome, real useful Gadget Hack videos. Thanks, guys.